Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In the last two videos, we talked about box layout and how we can arrange controls vertically as well as horizontally using the box layout uh, via X and Y axis. So those axes specify the layout orientation, whether you want to stack the control horizontally or vertically. In this video, we will look at the roles of glues, struts and rigid areas. So these properties are box layout properties and can be used only with the box layout. So you can watch these two videos for box layout 43 and 44 this will give an idea of what is a box layout then you can watch this current video in which we will talk about glues as well as struts of box layout So here you are seeing a box layout with buttons arranged vertically and this portion is what called a glue. If you see here the glue is added between button 2 and button 3. So this glue will be expandable when you resize the containing layout. Say for example in a frame we added a panel and in the panel we specified a uh, box layout and box layout is arranged vertically using the y-axis property. So now let's say you are resizing the button. So here I am just reducing the width to show that it is resized but the width will be same likewise you can imagine. If you see button 1 and button 2, button 3 will be here and the glue got increased. And if I resize it like this, button 1 and button 2 will be in the same position and button 3 will still occupy this same width. And you can see how the glue is resizing based on the different height. And you can see how the glue is resized based on different height. So this is one, two button two, button three, one, two and three. Here glue is for vertical and you can use the same glue for horizontal button positioning also let's say this is your button and if we added button 1 and button 2 here button 3 will be here glue will be in between these button 1 button 2 and button 3 you can see how it appears so without glue if you want to see how these buttons will be I mean the glues are invisible so you will see button 1 will be here button 2 will be here and the glue will be invisible so button 3 will be here so the net effect is button 1 and button 2 are arranged towards left button 3 is right aligned so this is the use of So this is the use of glue. Let's see one more example for the glue. If you see here button 1, button 2 and button 3 all are equally spaced. So we can use glue for this purpose also. So in this case we are adding glue between button 1 and button 2 as well as between button 2 and button 3. So what happens, this button 1, button 2 and button 3 will look equally spaced regardless of the size. So if we resize it like this,
and you can see the spacing between button 1 and button 3 sorry button 1 and button 2 as well as button 2 and button 3 let's say this is x and this is y x equal to y so this means button 1 button 2 and button 3 are spaced equally in the horizontal direction so this is button 1 button 2 and button 3 and these are the glues so simply glue is a flexible invisible area that is or we can call it as a filler that get added between the component if we reiterate here in this case we added one glue that is placed between button 2 and button 3 so button 2 and button 1 will stay towards one side and button 3 will stay in the other corner since it's a vertical vertically placed box layout button 2 and button 1 will be in the top button 3 will stay in the bottom and if we resize this orientation will not change only the glue size will increase so here you are seeing two example here this is the height and you can see how the glue is increased here how the glue is reduced so altogether one and two stays together in the top and three stays in the bottom the same goes here for horizontal layout also here the glue is added between button two and button three so that button one and button two stays to his left and button 3 always stays towards right so if we increase this uh, form width the glue will increase or reduce but button 1 button 2 will stay towards the left and button 3 stays towards the right we can use the same glue to space the component equally so here if you see we have three button but we placed glue between button 1 button 2 this is one glue and button 2 and button 3 this is one more glue so this makes button 2 button 1 button 2 button 3 all spaced equally in the horizontal orientation so if you do the same for vertical button 1 button 2 and button 3 will be spaced equally just like this so the glue size will be equal here then button 1 button 2 button 3 you can see they are placed at equal distance in vertical orientation if we add two glues next comes strut so as you see the glues are resizable but struts are fixed in size so here let's take vertical orientation we will take same button 1 and button 2 here button 3 so when it is vertical layout we will specify the height of the strut so let's say we specify 30 pixel the 30 pixel will be same so if we increase the size the 30 pixel still says same and this remaining portion will get unoccupied so that means this strut portion remains constant so it will always occupy 30 pixel so if we keep on increasing the space will get increased and button 1 button 2 button 3 stays uh, with a gap between button 2 and button 3 and this gap is fixed so the same holds true for horizontal orientation also so this is box layout vertical orientation and this one is the horizontal orientation and we when we place control we will place b1 b2 then we will create a rigid area of 30 pixel we will add it after b2 then we will add b3 so this 30 pixel is useful to add space between b2 and b3 when there is a, a unoccupied space so all these glue and struts are 
to tell the layout manager how we want to use the unoccupied space so here in the unoccupied space we take 30 pixel and we give that between b2 and b3 so the remaining portion the remaining portion will become unoccupied so actually this is also unoccupied space but we create a strut and we give it to the layout so if you see here in strat when we are creating it for a vertical arrangement the width is not uh, fixed so we are just providing how much space we want to occupy by providing some dimension in the vertical layout i mean by providing the height here whatever we provide that is actually a width in horizontal so if you want to fix both width and height then you should go for a rigid area so this portion is what called a rigid area and when we space a rigid area we specify height as well as width and the remaining portion will get unoccupied so in this example we are going to look at glues as well as struts rigid area we are giving it you to explore so when you are exploring you can use say for example you can have a border layout in the border layout you can make use of center layout i mean the center position place any control and then make use of a rigid area but because this center portion will expand in both direction x as well as y when you resize your form but when you add a component here in the in the border layout if you use left right or top bottom so the layout calls it as a north south east west so in this corner if you add the expansion will be in one direction say for example if we add here in the east portion when you resize the form height only increases with this fixed but the center portion it will uh, expand in both the direction so you if you use your panel and box layout here then you can explore a rigid area stuff but here in this example we are going to explore struts if you see here when you use glue there is no unoccupied space so all space are used by glues but in terms of struts since the uh, reserved area is uh, fixed the remaining portion will get unused so simply all this concept of glues struts as well as rigid areas tells the layout manager how we want to use the unused space so glue is usually used to uh, place the controls vertically or horizontally but you have to create multiple glues or you can use like this also placing controls together in one direction and some control together in right direction so for example if you want to do something like this some command like uh, save open export so all these towards the top then you want to reserve some space and towards bottom you want to place close so the button looks like all these commands are at one location to close the dialog or frame window that's in a different uh, orientation so these spaces are unused so you can either use a glue or if you use a rigid area when you resize the form the space will get added towards the bottom all right now that's all here in this uh, theory part demo we will see in the next uh, video thank you for watching